Brand new president of the Washington football team, Jason Wright, who's the first ever black team president in NFL history. And Jason, we want to start out by saying congratulations and, and thank you for joining us this morning. Not only are you the youngest team president currently in the league, as I said before, you are the first ever black team president. So what does this moment, what does it mean for you? What does it mean for the team? And what does it mean for the NFL? Hey, thanks, Michael. It's good to be on with you, my friend. Um, I think first and foremost, it's obviously very personal for me, right? Much like you, I'm a football player first. Been playing since I was seven years old, went to Northwestern on a football scholarship, played seven years in the league, you know, probably got fired a few more times than you, my friend, but played a <laughs> decent, decent amount of time in the league, and then became a businessman and cut my teeth in some of the best business schools, have been helping some of the most complex and important organizations around the world transform over the last few years. So for me, it's personal an opportunity to bring together my two worlds in a really unique way at a really unique time. And, and the fact that I happen to be black and the most qualified person for this is a, is a boost. And I love that. The most qualified person is, is the first thing that I think of when I think about you, Jason. And, but it's not an easy job. It is, nah. it is so far from being an easy job because you're joining the franchise that is in a lot of turmoil right, turmoil right now. In the last month, the announcement of the name change. There have been some allegations of sexual harassment by over a dozen female employees and an investigation into whether the team failed to consider minority of female candidates in hiring its vice president. So mm -hmm. what are your plans as the new president for changing this organization from the inside? You know, part of what excited me about taking this role is uh, we, we had a phrase when we played that said, you don't talk about it, you, you be about it. Mm -hmm. and, and I think what I've seen from Dan and Tanya Snyder in the hiring of Coach Rivera and some of the decisions they've made to have an independent investigator brought in around the sexual harassment allegations, there are actual shifts in action that suggest it's a new day. And that's why I'm excited to take this on. And, and Coach Rivera's talked a lot about this on the football side, establishing a new culture, a new way of operating rooted in values around inclusion and transparency. That's exactly what we're going to do on the business side. And uh, it's a culture transformation first to make sure that we have an organization that people want to be a part of and that that itself will start to expand the value of the franchise and make the good things happen. And, and another change that is coming to the football team is the name. So if you want to make it even more news this morning by telling us what the new name will be, <laughs> if, if not, hey. if not, when can we expect to know, hey. learn what the new name will be? Now, I know, now I know what y'all are thinking. You hired a brother and all of a sudden the, the betting money is on red tails. <laughs> I, it's not. It's not. Right? It's not. Um, I, in, in truth, what we're actually doing is much more than a new name. It's actually a new identity a new way of engaging with the world. It's going to inform the way we embed in the community, the way we engage with fans. And so it's much bigger than just a name or a logo or whatever you're going to put on the jersey. And plus, the jerseys are pretty clean right now anyway, so there's not much to change. Um, but it's going to be a longer process. Um, and it's going to engage the fans intensely. It's going to engage the sponsors intensely. And by the end of this, this is going to be a community decision that we make as a Washington football community. And I'm really excited to dive in. I still got a week before I start, but I'm eager. Well, that's good. A community decision on the name. We're going to turn to the season that's, that's coming up. A lot of people are excited about the season, but it's going to be unlike any other. Full contact training camp. Training is expected to start today. And we know that football, it, it's physical, and the distancing is impossible. So are you confident in the plans that the NFL has for that? You know, I'd have to be, uh, I'd have to have perfect foresight to say we know it's going to go perfectly well. I am confident in the plans that have been laid by the team, confident in the plans that have come down from the league. It's clear we're going to execute with excellence, but it would be the utmost hubris to say we know it's all going to go perfectly. And so what I think we have to do, we have to be data driven. We have to look at how the data is changing day by day. And we're going to have to be agile. We're going to have to be quick on our feet uh, to shift in how we operate to make sure that our players, our staff, and everybody around this operation is safe. The health and safety is absolutely first. Um, so I, I like where we're at, but we're going to monitor it day by day. And I know a lot of fans are hoping that it really works out because a lot of people really miss football. And we just want to yeah. say, you know, Alex Smith is a great story coming out of Washington this season, seeing him getting cleared to come back. So hopefully he gets back on the field for you guys. I want to congratulate you again, Jason, uh, on, on your accomplishment. And we wish you a lot of luck this season. Thank you. Thank you. We'll need it. Appreciate it. All right. Take care. George? I thought you were going to get that name there, Michael. I tried. I tried. He wasn't giving it up. <laughs>